Very long uh, time, you will not hear I this. I wanted to news. get this confirmed before Just I went live with and it. Share. And I ha uh, good evening. I wanted to get this confirmed before I went. I'm just sharing this because basically subscribe or whatever, just follow whatever. And I have, it, um, I have it from a source, uh, a Greek news channel, uh, and I'm also hearing it from an embassy staff member, um, and they are totally the same unconnected. Thing that video. Uh, so I'm quite happy to run with it, I was and I believe it 100% to be true. Uh, he is ex-military, good connection, good sources. So, if you wanna know what's happening basically in Ukraine, in that war, what isn't war, but this war, just count how many countries, people, ex-soldiers, you know, combatants, from how many countries is involved that conflict so just think about that it doesn't look like beginning of World War 3 yeah because it's so many you know nations involved in that conflict so it looks like World War 3 in Ukrainian territory I mean, absolutely I don't know how even how to describe this, you know what I mean? What's happening now? On, this is the reason the counter-offensive uh, never came when they said it would. And possibly why all this nonsense has gone on afterwards. On March the 9th, a MiG-31 attacking Lviv um, with a Kinzhal missile in West Ukraine hit an old bunker um, with reinforced concrete, ground, sand uh, and reinforced concrete underneath. A hypersonic missile that they said couldn't be fired and would be no good um, practically wiped out NATO headquarters uh, in the wrong place at the wrong time with a very good Russian pilot. Um, I have it confirmed by two different sources that there was an American general killed, a Canadian. Uh, in amongst that there were Polish, British, Lithuanian, Estonian and a very high ranking member of the Ukrainian armed forces. The very next day, the Ukrainian representative turned up at the US Embassy to let them know of the dead. Um, there was anywhere between two to three hundred dead, and they've recovered almost everybody but 30 or 40 bodies. Um, this has been confirmed by two different sources and may be the reason for all the leaked document rubbish um, that's gone on. Basically, what was happening was the planning centre for the counter-offensive was being led from there, I am led to understand, and the wiping out of that is what, called, what has caused the delay in the counter-offensive being launched. Um, as I say, you'll get tons and tons of people will come on and go, absolute nonsense, um, and they'll try and debunk it left, right and centre. I trust my sources implicitly. I'm hearing it from two different people. One is a news outlet source um, where we can't even see this video on English uh, YouTube or on TV um, the other source obviously I cannot name um, for very very good reasons um, this is probably the biggest story that we've broken here uh, apart from obviously the killing city that is being used to execute Russian POWs um, but this I believe and I am reliably informed by two different sources, as I say, that this is the reason that the counter-offensive never took place. And then you have to question everything that came after that. Thank you very much for listening.